the that's whole it. thing? About 1,500 pounds. That's big. To the millimeter. So theoretically, it's not gonna fall off the side and crush everyone. No, no, the chances are very minimum. The chances are very minimum. Minimum. I just, I just wanna, I don't wanna anybody get hurt. I mean, they packed it really well. I'm so there's impressed. Stuff, there's stuff out there where like, nope, not even try. Yeah, there is a lot in here. So do you guys see this massive crate? It's literally taller than I am, taller than me. And it is full of everything that we're going to need to actually construct the Avery. We've got a little sneak peek over here of a swivel feeding station. And I guess that's another swivel feeding station. I could be wrong, I haven't opened these yet. And then we've got some panels down here. Let me give you a close up of the panels just while they're all flat. Look how good quality these are. These are not like hardware cloth. I was going to be using hardware cloth before, but this is so sturdy. Nothing is gonna be able to bite through that. That is, I'm really glad. And then in here, we've just got a couple of supplies. So we've got some screwdrivers. These are some lights because I have a feeling that I might want to put fairy lights on green cheese aviary just to make it super extra because that's how I roll. Oh look, it's the old destroyed aviary. R.I.P. Um, the new Avery is going to go over here instead. Okay guys, you see all these tiles on the back of the car here? There are about 270 tiles and I ordered them two weeks ago so I am so happy to see them finally arriving. <laughs> Hi Bay. Hi Bay. What you doing? Nothing. So this is step one guys right here. These are some of the panels that we're going to have on the sides of the aviaries. There's going to be I think about 12 of these in total. Oh look, it's one of the most handsome men I've ever seen, if not the most handsome man I've ever seen in my entire life. That's really tightening. It is. What's that you've got there, Ted? Well, this is the sum total of the hardware that goes into some of these sun catcher cages. Actually, this is all this, the hardware for two sun catcher cages. Each cage is held together basically by the weight and the pressure and the engineering of the cage and one really well placed carriage bolt. And then all of these are used to hold together the, the roof onto the cage itself. So as you watch us put this cage together today, you're gonna say, that looks kind of flimsy. I promise you it's not. When all this hardware goes into the cage, they become rock solid. What was that, baby? I, I really want to eat pie. Yeah? I don't know why. It would have to be either pizza or apple. But I need pie. <laughs> oh, because it's a triangle shape and your pie comes in the shape of triangles? But pie is, is like a meat pie. It's... Baby, pies do not have meat. They do. No, pie baby, pie can have chicken and leek, chicken and mushroom, steak and no, kidney. That's only if you like tend to sheep. You don't do that in the real world. No, that's that. Dude, there that, is that's a, why it's a shepherd's, shepherd's pie. pie. Yeah, but do you, pies do not have meat in them. Yes, just, they do. Pies no. have meat. No, pies do not they have meat. They can have meat. Fruit. Do pies Yarns have meat? Yarns don't have cars. They have grass. <laughs> but pies you do spell not have don't meat. sell color with a U. Yes, you do. You pies, do. Pies do not have meat, though. I'm being no. picked on no. for being foreign. <laughs>
look, it's a letterbox for all of Grinchy's fan mail. All right, guys, so this is where we're at right now. The build has been going absolutely amazing because Ted's just been so great at instructing everything and basically building everything because he's done this before. And of course, we've got Danny's muscles and of course, I've been project managing. <laughs> um, now, over here, what we're doing is with these massive, very Toblerone-esque slotting pieces is we're actually putting the roof together so at the top here this is one of the roof panels and it's a really ingenious design because if you look everything actually slots together so there's no gap in the in between it's like an over under over under with these roof panels so right here we slot one in then the next one slots in sort of like over here because there's a lip so it goes here and then it goes under the next one over the next one so it really is an amazing design um on the outside we have a few minor adjustments to make to the actual avery because when these are built um they're actually very flexible still i know it looks super solid and it's going to be an incredibly solid structure but you can actually move them around a little bit so don't take that as this being a flimsy structure it's not it's just that we need to keep it everything a little bit oh what's the word i learned the time i learned today loosey goosey that's what i learned today thanks ted <laughs> A wise, a wise man once told me to keep everything loosey-goosey. So with this Avery, we're keeping everything loose and making minor adjustments. And then as soon as these roof tiles go in, the way that I just explained with the slotting mechanism that they have, everything gets completely pulled together and it becomes absolutely just impenetrable. Check it out, guys. So what I've done so far is all of these tiles here um, these are going to stop predators from being able to get in. It just gives it a bit of extra structural reinforcement. But we're not done yet because I'm actually going to mulch on the inside. So you see all these grooves here. I've deliberately left grooves here and I'm going to basically mulch the inside. So it's going to have like a nice brown soft mulch and that's really nice for digging. All right, creatures, this is a really exciting moment. Over here, we're actually going to be installing what this little slot here is for. This slot is actually a swivel feeder. If you guys aren't familiar with swivel, feeders it basically means that you can feed and water your birds without actually having to enter the aviary because it literally as the name suggests swivels out and swivels back in it's the end of day two the sun is about to go down and here is our progress look at the aviary i have started tiling this one i'm not finished yet we're going to mulch the floor um, but we've just installed some really incredible features that I'm going to go over in a bit more detail once everything is completely finalized. Let me show you a little bit of what I've been doing from yesterday. So yesterday I started putting these pavers down. They're not completely done yet, guys. So don't judge me just yet on my stonework. Um, but what I've done is just in this flycatch area, I've put a couple of pavers down and that's just so that it's really nice and a firm surface to actually step on into. Obviously this sort of area area is more open to the elements so if it rains really heavily it might get really mushy in there um, I might at some point go a little bit extra and put some mosaic in there look what I found it's a little cicada he is fresh because look his wings have yet to unfurl he's walking around you know what I'll tell you guys something really secret I used to be deathly afraid of these because the ones that we have in Hong Kong are really really loud and they used to scare me as a child but now I can actually see that they're really harmless really amazing and look how beautiful this one is are you ready to see the aviary here it is <laughs>
I want to talk to you about the specs in this video to give you as much information about this aviary as possible. If you're planning an aviary yourself or you're looking to upgrade, this section could be of interest to you. This aviary is a sun catcher aviary created and made by customcages.com in America. Their service is fully custom, so this aviary is exactly my specifications. The frame is made of black anodized aluminum or aluminum. The mesh that's used on this aviary is stainless steel wire and and the spacing is half inch by half inch. Wider spacing is available, but I wanted this mesh in particular to offer greater protection against rodents. The quality of the mesh is probably my favorite part of this aviary. In my opinion, it's zoo grade and extremely hard wearing. There are other kinds of panel types you can go for, like perspex, but I chose mesh. The diameter of each aviary is eight feet and the height of the side panels are 72 inches. For the floor, I would always 100% recommend a hard standing, like a cement base. Unfortunately, the company, who will remain anonymous, which was supposed to deliver my tiles two weeks before this build, royally let me down. So we've secured the perimeter with tiles that were supposed to be the hard standing. If there are any issues, then I'll either hardware cloth the base of the Avery, or even just disassemble the Avery a little bit and then get some builders in to create the original hard standing. The flycatch is an awesome feature, which ensures that your birds don't escape when you enter or exit exit the aviary. This is a swivel feeding station. The basic idea behind the swivel feeder is that you can feed your birds without actually having to unlock or physically enter the aviary. The bowls are stainless steel and very easily inserted into place. There's also the ability to lock the feeders in place. I ordered these real wooden perches. They actually arrive in two pieces but can easily be screwed together before being bolted onto the side of the mesh. The door handles are a light but sturdy design and you can lock the aviary doors for added security. Security. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss the emotional journey of my birds exploring their new aviary for the very first time. What do you think of the aviary? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Also, check out customcages.com and their other social media. Show them a little love for making this build for our special birds a possibility. A special thanks as well to Ted for coming all the way down to help us build the aviary. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in another video soon. Bye!